Hello everybody, my name is Materius and welcome to a new speedrun of my time at Porsche. In these speedruns we are going to do some achievement hunting and this time it's going to be Treasure Hunter. If you're new to this channel and have not yet subscribed, push the subscribe button and push a like button. And if you got anything to tell me, leave it in the comment down below. Cause I love hearing from your comments. So for now we are going to do treasure hunter and we need to open 50 treasure chests and I'm not going to show you 50 treasure chest openings but I'm going to show you easy ways to do it. And one way is by going through the city and finding every chest that you need to do. There are plenty of chests hidden in the city, but we are going to try another method. This way is more kind of like the story way and yeah, it's quite more fun than going around the city and trying to find every chest on your way. For this you have to go into the collapsed wasteland. I've got a video popping up down below somewhere on the screen and tell you how to get into collapsed wasteland if you haven't already done that part but this is where we are going to do and get our achievements pick the easiest level and then let's get started within this area you do have some enemies so you need to fight them and defeat them and most time in the first uh, area you won't find any treasure chests so let's get down to the second area and I've done this already many times but as you can see there's already a chest up there and you can collect a lot of chests in this area alone and as you can see I got the achievement on the right side but if you're not that far just keep going because there's another chest and that's already the second chest and in one run you will get around 7 to 10 chests depending on what kind of levels you get because every time you try this you get a different type of map. So this is one of the areas where you find 3 chests I guess, yes 3 chests. But it's kind of hard because you can get a lot of damage down here. But it's worth it because these chests pay a lot of good st stuff like a small engine. Sometimes you even get an advanced engine in here but yeah, you're not always that lucky. But you need all the stuff for crafting so it's never hard to do this. Try to keep and jump straight and also take some healing stuff in here if you want to finish the end boss off. Because he is a pain in the ass if you're not yet a higher level. So we're at the fourth floor and I'm kind of unlucky because normally the fourth floor will be an area with three chests that can easily be taken. But I'm not that lucky. But I already got the achievement and most of the time you get an area here with three or more chests. So for the last area you can skip it and re-roll the area or you can try and beat this guy and you get a lot of nice goodies for it so let's uh, take a look at how to defeat him I'm taking a little bit of healing you need to roll at moments that he's going to hit and this wasn't a good example of me doing that that was and then he missed but the second one I did roll didn't roll at all the best way is to defeat this guy is with a lot of medics and the right tools to, to defend yourself so upgrade your clothing upgrade your weapons and you will defeat him but I will use a lot of healing methods. I'm not good at beating this guy at the moment. I'm eating, eating all my meat that I got to stay alive. And now let's retry and let's kill him. Oh, yes, one more healing and let's go. He is hitting me hard. So let's heal up again. And then I'm picking the wrong item. Yes, this is a great example, Materius, of you beating a guy 
I hope you're not going to die because that would be shameful on camera. Well, my Stella did die a lot recording this video, so if you got any tips and tricks for me, then uh, leave them in the comment down below. Also, if you'd like to get this game, use the link down below and you can get it for a good price at G2A. So, now this is the way to kill him. Yeah, I was talking through it all the way. But then you can destroy the boxes and then we are going for the second way to get those chests that we want for the achievement. So let's move on to the second way to get these achievements. Outside your house is the first chest and this is kind of the chest you need to look. There hidden all over town there are two on top of the gate but there are many hidden and that's also the easiest way to get these chests so i hope this was helpful if you got any questions for me uh, put them in the description down below and if you're new and haven't subscribed yet push the subscribe button i really appreciate this and uh, tell me what type of achievement you would like to see in the next episode of my time at porsche speedrun I hope to see you at the next video.